how you doing today? It's me, David, here in my whiskey den, here in central Ohio, and to prove it, over here, Ohio, baby, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we are going to do a kind of reviving the bottom shelf battle. I want to try and do these again kind of regularly, and I have to apologize to all of you fine folks out there. I kind of got caught up in the whole, you know, I, I want to get like nice bourbons. And as you can see on my shelves, I've got nice bourbons. And I've been neglecting the bottom shelfers. But then I've had so many requests. And those are the videos I think I've gotten the most views on. And it's kind of weird to me in that you know, I I love micro distilleries. I love to show off and, and promote good micro distilled stuff. But then logically, this is the stuff that's available everywhere. And you want to know what I think of it, apparently. And it's fun. It's fun doing these bottom shelfers. And uh, when I did my first taste video for Old Crow, um, I mentioned on there that um, one of the... I get like in the comments, I do read all your comments. I may not always reply, but I do read them. Um, and, and I've gotten a few emails from, from you fine folks talking about Old Crow. And what do I think of Old Crow and going against some of these other bottom shelfers? So I splurged the $12 to get the Old Crow. This is... Um, just basic 80 proof old crow this is distilled and done by the Jim Beam company and uh, there you go this it's the same mash bill as Jim Beam white label is their standard mash bill this is aged for three years not four so um, and then benchmark in all my bottom shelf bourbon battles has been the reigning champ um, and this is done by Buffalo Trace. It is the same mash bill number one as Buffalo Trace bourbon, and I believe Colonel Taylor and several of their others. So uh, let's see what I think of them. Benchmark for the longest time was 10 bucks a bottle here in the OH. Now it's up to, I think... Eleven ninety nine, and then Old Crow, about the same eleven ninety nine. So we're getting both eighty proofers. I think both of them are three years aged. Someone kind of called me out on one of my other videos, like, "Oh yeah, you know the the age is on the label. This net yeah, aged at least thirty six months." And uh, there we go. So let's see what we got here. Um, Both are, again, three-year aged, so they're young bourbons. Um, I know this is a high corn, I think 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley, and Buffalo Trace does not disclose their mash bills. So let's, let's get it done, right? Right. So um, I don't know. The benchmark looks a little bit, they look almost identical up at the light, but down here on the bar top, the benchmark looks a little darker. Okay. The uh, Old Crow smells sweeter, or for you sophisticated whiskey bourbon files, the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't drank anything today, just so you know, full disclosure. This is me, raw and unfiltered. All right, Ian. I think it's just the whiff of this. <laughs> this stuff is just getting to me right now. But let's see what we got. It's got a little spice to it. It does taste pretty young. It is uh, sweet. 
It's a sweet bourbon. I'd say it's pretty much like a corn whiskey that's been aged for three years. Which reminds me, I should get a mellow corn and see what that, <laughs> that's like. But, um... something let's see with the benchmark benchmark tastes a little bit more mellow but it's got a little bit more of that harsh burn at the end but hmm. the burn on the old crow isn't as bad it's it's sweet kind of like a little corn syrupy sweet which isn't as bad as I think it would be. It's no by no means a top shelf bourbon, but uh, hmm, it's different. I can taste the barley, malted barley, more in the benchmark. Um, <clears throat> man, as far as the bottom shelfers go, I don't know what it is. Like, I, I've been trying some of these lately and kind of ending up in a draw. Believe it or not, we make, my buddies and I, we're getting real well known. The bad guys know us and they leave us alone. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, a couple of my friends and I, I mean... I, I haven't had an opinion of Old Crow, but they kind of say it's like lighter fluid, charcoal fluid, but it really isn't. It's a nice, sweet tasting bottom shelf bourbon. Not sophisticated. I would say the benchmark's a little bit more sophisticated and balanced. Um, very one dimensional, but it is nice to have on hand. I mean, it's just, I don't know why. It's just a cool bottle it's nice to have it's just it feels vintagey and cool but um probably up against some of my other bottom shelfers they probably kick its arse but um i don't know if the old crow would have a wing and a prayer but i do have to say i do prefer the benchmark over the old crow i think if you took the old crow and if they aged it for a few more years but, but then again, that would be just Jim Beam. If they changed the mash bill, maybe made it into a high rye, you know, that would be more like old granddad. If they did a different mash bill and gave it its own identity, because back in the 1800s, this was the premium bourbon of its time from what I've read. If they could capture that again, rebrand it, market it, make it really high end, um, maybe as a bottled and bond offering, even as a four grain, you know, throw some, some wheat in there, uh, just make it something different and unique. And I think that would be a premium brand. It's pretty okay, but I mean, they're kind of letting it go to waste. So, um, for this, I would prefer the benchmark by a little bit of a margin, but the old crow isn't repulsive by any means. Like I said, it's sweet, it's young, kind of like my first girlfriend. <laughs> um, but I was a teenager back then. So anyway, um, I'd go with the benchmark. So until next time, I guess we'll leave it at that. It is me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. I'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.